You know what I like to do? Talk into a microphone? Yeah, and also <laughs> get in on the action with sports Have a interaction. Big head. Yeah, wear bare feet in the freezing cold. <laughs> Be a dad. Freaking wear V-necks that are actually it's not a V-neck. Okay. Sorry. Um, sports interaction, NHL, NBA, MLB, so much more. It's the friend I don't have. Clearly, uh, crazy odds, best live and play. Download the app in Ontario. You can use the QR code at the bottom of the screen, or you can head to sportsinteraction.com/stpn to get started. Nineteen plus. Please, please play responsibly and get better friends. Just yell at the computer. He does that too. Leafs Panthers, let's go. Except if you're a Florida Panthers fan, you're afraid. Uh, it came out this morning <laughs> that only residents local to South Florida can buy tickets to this game. Oh, no. So, there's I'll, no Canadians there. I'll read you. Florida uh, Florida Live Arena is located in Sunrise, Florida. Sales to this event will be restricted to residents of the United States. Residency will be based on credit card billing address. Orders by residents outside of the United States will be canceled without notice and refunds given. Now, uh, it's interesting that they did this because... Uh, S. Barahaney, who works for us at STPN, was tweeting about it. He's uh, he checked in on the immigrant population in Florida, and of the of the immigrant Im- immigrant population in in South Florida, three million are Canadians. Wow, with permanent residency. And it's funny, my parents are snowbirds, and they've they've got uh, they've got a place down there. Toronto proper is two point eight. Yeah, so you just need an address and a credit card. Mm-hmm. So not. Not the hardest thing to get. Also, there's resales. So also, you can buy this them. only applies to like the face value tickets. That's you get right. Straight from right. the Florida Panthers. Oh, tell, no. me, tell me you're fucking scared of the Leafs without telling me you're fucking scared of the Leafs. I, I what, hope a, what a bunch. A big, oh, there's so many words. What a big baby move. Oh. You, you actual cowards. You actual <laughs> losers. You're acting like a loser and we haven't even played game one, Florida. Come on! If I'm if I'm Matt Kachuk, I'm I'm pissed that they did this. I thought this it makes you look like a butt. You're soft as baby poo. All oh. of you. Yo, All Matthew you. Kachuk scoring a goal and then going up to the boards and being like, eh, "Fuck you!" Like right at the Leaf fans. I think he would prefer that. I'm sure he would. I think but it, but his wants. organization doesn't believe in him enough that, and they don't believe that they have enough fans to buy yeah. the actual well, tickets. Let's, listen, I what just, a bunch of freaking babies. I just w- here's here's what I'm worried about. Right, you know me, love the rules. <laughs> you do. I you're a rules guy. Big rules guy. I <laughs> hope no one does the unthinkable, the unheard of, and buys tickets and then. Don't. Throws them on the internet and resells them. No. Oh, well, I mean, I know South Florida residents are going to make a ton of money on resale, but we don't care, man. They are? Yeah, <laughs> we don't care. We're still going to be there. No one's done that before. It's crazy. Isn't no it? one's done that in every city ever forever. Oh, my God. I thought these were supposed to be like objective previews. Oh, right. But since, uh, it's not going to be objective. they don't have to no, be. No, listen. Why don't we just say Leafs in four and then end the video? I mean, okay. well, I, I, do, I, don't, okay. I don't know that I would even say that, though. Like, not, I do think I I'm have not. a ton of respect for the team on the ice. The organization behind them, I'm kind of questioning, like, what? why are you such babies? Because the team <laughs> is actually impressive. And and I think we, oh, need, to, so we need to mention that. I'm yes. so, so damn impressed. Yes. Uh, here's, here's what I regret for Florida Panthers fans. Um, that the narrative around their series with Boston is that Boston choked. Now. They did. <laughs> they won 65 games and then lost. Yeah, in the first round, they choked. But um, the Bruins handed the series to them, but also the Panthers took it. Yeah, it takes someone to stand by and not administer the Heimlich for somebody to choke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. And they, this Walter White standing over Jane. Oh, just, my gosh. Just watched it happen. That's one of the best moments of TV ever. And then... Him sitting on that for three seasons before telling him. Anyway, listen, um, the Panthers are maybe the hardest working team left in the playoffs. They're certainly one of them. Um, They get scoring from fun places. I think we've been asking for a team like the Panthers to have playoff success for a number of years. Uh, A team not called the Edmonton Oilers. Like we, (laughs) we want to see more teams play stupid, dumb, fun hockey and have success and that's what they do like they're they're brawlers they 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 yeah there's some structure there but they're just on you brawling working hard doing whatever they got to do they'll throw their face in front of the puck they'll throw your face in front of the puck yeah rad kogudis gives you the angle slam and then the freaking attitude adjustment which is very similar <laughs> to the angle slam 
Power bomb, pop up, power bomb, jackknife, power bomb. <laughs> and maybe even the video. last ride. And he'd never get called for it either. Never get uh, called I, for I, it. I, I want to say, though, specifically about the Panthers, one thing that really impressed me when they were playing the Boston Bruins is they, uh, because Boston's an older team, they're not as fast. So Florida kind of exposed their speed a little bit. But what they would do is their, their one handed stick poke checking constant mm -hmm. all the time and so when you're trying to get set up for a power play when you're trying to get even a five on five play going from your own zone there's a panther in there I, I even saw Matthew Kachuk get taken down at the Boston or yeah at the Boston blue line and he's down on his knees and it was definitely a penalty in the regular season but he doesn't give up on the play he reaches back and tries to break up the Bruins play and slows them down enough for his other players to to stop them in the neutral zone they they don't quit and those things are the Leafs are going to have to watch out for that. The, the Tampa really gave the Leafs hell when they pressured them trying to get set up for a play. The Leafs are really slow in setting up plays. They're really slow at it. They uh, yeah, Tampa pressured them, and and I think the Panthers are going to do more of the same. Um, whereas uh, the team maybe has a little bit of the loser mentality when it comes to the the tickets, mm -hmm. and you know not no the, the 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 guys on the ice are different from the from the people yeah. making policy and decisions. Matthew Kachuk loves that he's about to play the Leafs. Yeah. He loves that all those... Give me the spotlight. Toronto eyes. He loves the spotlight. And the Panthers are not uh, historically a team that has been associated with the spotlight. Uh, like, how many series have they even won in franchise history? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't... I'm pretty sure Le uh, Roberto Luongo never won one with them. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's the most unforgivable mm -hmm. stat of his career. Um, all his playoff success was in Vancouver. If, if I'm not mistaken, he had six playoff games as a Panther. That's all those insane. years he was there, all those ridiculous seasons he put up, six games. Matthew Kachuk loves this shit, and he has driven the Leafs nuts. So how do you shut him down? If you're the Leafs, how do you shut him down? Uh, I don't know if that's a thing. Um, well, you I, have to, you have to, you have to do something. So what do you do? Yeah, of course. No, well, let's just ignore him. You, well, <laughs> no, you can't ignore him. Obviously, uh, you can't get dragged into the bullshit. Um, he's going to bang and crash Ilya Samsonov, which we don't like mm -hmm. on account of he hasn't played a healthy game in over a month, probably. Um, Luke Shen's going to be on him like shit on Velcro, uh, probably. Jake McCabe's going to be in there too, but... <laughs> You can't be... You like that saying? Drew did. Shit on Velcro. Uh, shit on Velcro? You've never heard that? I like that. <laughs> You've never heard that? You've never had that unfortunately happen to you? Um, <laughs> the, but the thing about Matthew Kachuk is the thing you need to know about Brad Marchand, whereas as much as he drives you nuts and can beat you up and can bruise you and make your life miserable on the ice and off, because those bruises don't go away with uh, the final horn, right? Uh, he can snipe on you too. He can set up plays. He can score from between his legs. Uh, he can make plays out of nothing. And and one thing that I, I don't remember if I said this on camera uh, is at this point in their careers, who's a more dangerous player? Brad Marchand or Matthew Kachuk? Matthew Kachuk. It's Matthew Kachuk. He's bigger, stronger, younger, more offensive upside, Maybe not as responsible defensively, but he's going to fuck up the front of your net. If the Leafs are going to win, what do they have to do? Real, real quick. Well, here's what the Leafs have that the Bruins didn't have. The Leafs are way better up the middle. Now, you might go, but what about Bergeron? Well, okay, sorry. Injured the Leafs Bergeron. are way better up the middle uh, with Matthews, Tavares, O'Reilly than, um, yeah, the Bruins were with Bergeron with a herniated disc. Krejci, I don't even know how old he is. Uh, Charlie Coyle wasn't... They tried to trade him at the trade deadline. Did they? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, the the battle up the middle is going to be different, um, but Point wasn't as good in round one. Sorelli wasn't as much of a factor as he was the year before, and neither was Nick Paul. And now, all of a sudden, you're going up against Sasha Barkov. Probably the... Like, who's a better defensive center remaining in these playoffs? He's going to be interesting. He's an animal. He's an animal. And, um, you know, the the Leafs, when I spoke to them in uh, Nevada, were – see how I've changed it to Nevada now instead of San Vegas because it was Henderson. Um, they all talked about how Barkov's one of the most underrated players in the league, and we're about to find out why. Jesse, what do you got? I know they're not the same team, 
And it's a little dangerous to make this comparison, but the Florida Panthers remind me a little of the St. Louis Blues the year they won the Stanley Cup in that how far out of the standings the St. Louis Blues were and how their season looked to be over come January. The Panthers have been playing playoff hockey for a long time. The Panthers were well out of the playoffs, and we were talking about one of the biggest season-to-season drop-offs ever from President's Trophy winner to they're going to miss the playoffs by like 30 points. And they went 19, 10, and 2 down the stretch. They and really put it together. All the other playoffs teams should be always wary of the playoff team that comes in hot. And the team that has been playing playoff hockey for months. Mm-hmm. They've had to climb back in just to get to this point. And thank God they had Alex Lyon who saved their season. And now that he's kind of wiggled and can't does, lost the job, and now that Sergei Borowski's back, they're a real danger to make some do some upsets here. You, you can't uh, uh, undersell what Sergei Bobrovsky did there in the first round because Alex Lyon hamburglered the Panthers into a playoff spot. But what everyone forgets about that hamburglar run with uh, Andrew Hammond for the Sens is uh, they got their ass kicked mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. in, the, in yeah. the first round. Um, and like there was... Uh, you know, no one there to really step in for him. I think Craig Anderson was there. I don't remember if he was healthy or anything. Lyon faltered, mm-hmm. and Bobrovsky went in there. Maybe the Bruins took them for granted. I don't know, but that long series turned short very fast, and uh, Florida never went away. There's a, it's a certain luxury that you get when the guy who's your hottest is your backup goalie, and you can always just go back to the starter. And now they're in the position where, hey, our $10 million goalie's back, and we're going to ride him and see how far this goes. So Leafs practice lines today ahead of Game 1 versus the Panthers. Do you want to hear them before as we wrap this up, okay? Are they 11-7 or 12-6? They are 12-6. Ah. Nyes Matthews Nylander. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yarn Croak Tavares Marner. Bunting O'Reilly Achari. Okay. Aston Reese Kampf Kerfoot. The extras are Lafferty and Simmons. They're not. Uh, they're, they'd be in the extras jerseys. Oh. Um, McKay Brody. Yeah. Riley Shen. Yeah. Giordano. Hall. Lilligren. Lilligren. Yeah. Hey. Let's go. Wow. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. So the odds for this series, at least in game one, according to Sports Interaction, the Leafs at a 145. Uh, if you take the Panthers, it's a 260. Um, so, I mean, here's here's the one thing I got, okay? How many games does the series go and who wins? Because Sports Interaction has six games as the favorite right now hmm. at 311. That's regardless of who wins. That's you regardless of who wins. Games. Okay. Seven games is a 311. Five games is a 373. And four games is a 718. What do you think? I think short series are so rare. I got Leafs in six. Okay. J- Jesse. Uh, if it's going to be the Leafs, it's going to be a quick one. Leafs, oh! Leafs in five. Woo! Oh boy! I I want to be that amped on the Leafs, but I want to see them play Florida first. Even yeah. though they had a good, they were three and zero in the regular season against Florida. I'm saying Leafs in six. Let's go. Okay, we good? Now we got our predictions done. I think we're good.